Hello, everybody. Good evening for y'all. How are you doing? It is Thursday, my dudes. Hey, Max, how you doing? I am exhausted. I didn't sleep very well. <laughs> you want chicken wings, but you can't get them yet. Why not? Come on. Get your... Get your chicken wings. <laughs> I am... But yeah. Oh, you don't have a car yet. Oh. Um, then just fly there. <laughs> Fucker doesn't know how to fly. Unbelievable. <laughs> Alright. Uh, guess who accidentally... Uh, kept pressing the eject button the eject disc button on the PS4 uh, time and time again like instead of the power button I always do this I get them confused so bad <laughs> all right give me just a second and I'll be right back I'm back, I'm back. But yeah, it's been a very lazy day, so I'm just gonna start the game now. Let's go. Okay. Also, th that song is The farthest, farthest Land, and I love it so much. Come on, don't fail me now, OBS. Uh, please. <laughs> it's not showing anything. Hold on. Hold on. I'll I'll get this done in a bit. Uh. Ah, oh, there it is. Thank God. Okay. Fit screen. There it is. Okay. I don't know why my other uh. My other device for uh, detecting the the capture card wasn't working. I don't know why, but it just refused. So, all right, that's very sweet of you. Okay, let me just remove the other one. There, now everything is perfect. Okay, so it's the shrine of worship that we have to i mean the shrine of worship bleh. we are at 11 11 colossi out of 16 so we're accidentally flying right past this so i may just take my time a little bit in hunting uh lizards and doing other things for a little bit just so that i can just like uh savor my time with this game because there's a lot of places you don't actually go you don't actually go to like you on your on a casual playthrough, you wouldn't probably investigate the most of the the entire map, but there's a lot to discover. 
Still, though. Oh, let's, let's watch this again. This is what happens when you fall asleep at parties. Yes, Pelagia, my beloved. Let me just uh, reacquaint myself with the controls. All right. Hello, Agro, my wonderful girl. Let's go. Okay, where is Pelagia? I forget. Like, I know she's... Uh, well, they more like over here. Yeah. Pelagia is a little bit of a, a weirdo. Because I quite enjoy their fight. But I don't enjoy going to them. Like, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. But I still don't like it. I don't have to like it. <laughs> oh, Pelagia, my beloved. Well, no, not my beloved, actually. My detested a little bit. Pelagia is just... a lot. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. God, I love this game so much. It's finally getting... It, it's finally getting the treatment that it always deserved. You know. Yeah. The whole oh uh, you good aggro? The remake was, was like best poke. Nothing here? God look at the look at the bridge. It's beautiful. Well there's a there's a save point here and we all know what that means. <laughs> save point? It it's not a save point anymore, Rory. It's fine, it's a save point in my heart. You know, I'm pretty sure that in the PS2 version... Uh, oh, I cut off your tail, okay. I'm pretty sure that in the PS2 version... Uh, come on. <laughs> those things could actually kind of hear you and run away. Because I spent so long just hunting them. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for the health. Now let me just look around. God, I wish I could go down there. I wish I, I wish it it wasn't like an instant death going down there. Also that little ring over there. Like Hold on. This little ring over there. I have Breath of the Wild on the on the brain. And it's like I should jump there, but nope. Anyway, in case you were wondering, it's over there. <sighs> Let's get going. <laughs> That's a very small stretch of land here. I don't think I've ever been here, actually. I think I, I usually just skipped from the other side. I never actually went in here. Come on. Very beautiful. Very powerful. Alright, let's go. I, 
keep I keep fearing that aggro is gonna just drop me or something. This is this is fucking gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Oh look they added mushrooms. <laughs> they added mushrooms here. Oh that's so cute. Also, is this the entrance? Uh yes it is, I think. No it's not. Maybe. Could be. Oh great, I'm lost now. God, look at this. I am kind of like a, a big fan of uh, forests and the green areas like this. My favorite color happens to be green, so I am having a very good time in here. Just say fuck Pelagia, let's just explore here. Yeah, this place is gorgeous. Look at it. Look at that. I do remember this place. Huh? Did you hear that? Whoa. Okay. Uh, wonder. Come on. <gasps> we got it. We got one of them. Fun fact, that little thing, uh, that radiant little thing right there, um, it wasn't there in the original. That is something exclusive to the remake. It's uh, the 76 Steps to Enlightenment, I think. They added it in... Whoa, be careful here. They added it in for the remake because... And there is a video about this. It's uh, called... The Last Secret of Shadow of the Colossus or something? There was a forum once about Shadow of the Colossus, where a bunch of people just gathered uh, around and tried to found, find as many secrets as possible uh, about Shadow of the Colossus. One of the theories that they had was the theory of intersecting points, which they said was like um, four different glyphs that appeared on the map here in different buildings or something, and then they would see which of the points was uh, the one that intersected. Let me see if I can... Okay, yeah. Here in that little where in that little quadrant where the shrine is, the one to the left of me, that was supposed to be the place where the points intersected, I think. And people thought there would be a secret there, something something big, because Fumito Ueda, the maker of this game, really likes his secrets, etc. So they try to find the secret, but nobody could actually prove that the theory of intersecting points was true. But uh, this mystery took like a whole decade or even more than one decade. I don't, I don't know exactly the entire story by, uh, by heart. But um, they, they kept it going, they found new secrets, they found stuff about... Oh yeah, no light. They found stuff about the game files as soon as emulation and etc. was something that people could do. And the developers seemed to have been actually paying attention to the fans' efforts, so they added something new, which is the 79 Steps to Enlightenment. And I think in the credits they actually thank one of the, uh, the people who is most like... Um, active in this kinds of, of endeavors. I think that's Nomad Colossus on YouTube. So there's a little bit of trivia for you. Just something just something that I really like. 
I almost wish that I could have been a part of that, but... Oh, you know. Anyway, welcome to Breath of the Wild. Damn. Look at that. And all the and all the butterflies too, like Like I don't I don't know who who gave this game the right to be so pretty. Sorry, I just I just really love this game. It's so it's so beautiful. <laughs> let's go. Now let's go. Pelagia won't fight itself. Is there a fruit tree around here? No, I think there's a save point though. Yep, somewhere around there, I think. Sometimes... <laughs> How it's gonna be like, sometimes it's just neat to like, um, just walk. But I guess since Agro took the time to be here, we can let her take us. Just a big smack. Oh, but it survived! The lizard survived, so I'm happy about that. There we go. And that's another one. Anyway, goodbye, aggro. Oh. Let me just... Thank you for bringing me here. Now, let's go. Hello, welcome. <laughs> I've spent like 20 minutes just fucking around and finding out in a <laughs> forest. Whoa, 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 careful there, Wander. You're so valid. Am I though? Am I truly? Wait, is this the part? Okay, I think this is the part. Yep, we gotta go into the water. We're gonna be here a while. Pelagia is one of those uh, colossi that getting to them takes a while and beating them also takes a while. I'm not a big fan of Pelagia, but I think Pelagia's fine. It's just, they're not very difficult. They're just tedious and it takes a while. It's mostly because of the arena, honestly. I do know there's a couple of speedrun strats for this one, but uh, I'm not very confident to try them out. So let's just greet our nasty little boy. Wake up, Pelagia. You fucked up big time. He can do that. Oh, Jesus. Okay, come on. Let's go. Uh, 
I may have already forgotten how to fight Pelagia. Pelagia is just one of those colossi that I don't particularly care about. Come here! Come here! Oh god, I forget, I forget what we have to do here. This is a bad idea. Oh my god. Uh, shit, I have forgotten. Okay, hold on. I think I remember. Come on. I cannot for the life of me remember how you're supposed to do this fight! Okay. Go on. Go on. Oh. oh god. Hey, welcome, D. Okay, I'm gonna do something incredibly stupid. Oh god, don't start moving now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> This is gonna be something. I have sincerely completely forgotten how to fight this guy. This is not how you're supposed to do it, but I'm doing it like this anyway. <laughs> well, uh, totally cheesed it. I'm pretty sure I cheesed it. fight like this I have absolutely completely forgotten how to fight Pelagia go 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 ah Pelagia Tummy ache. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm right in front of him. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Okay, um, hey, Pelagia. 
How about you don't bully me? Don't be mean. Don't be mean, Pelagia. Come on, let's go. We need to get behind them again. We need to cheese it. Ah! Come on. Come on, we're so close! <laughs> we made it again <laughs> this is totally not how you're supposed to fight Pelagia <laughs> I mean if it works it works huh Pelagia come on Behave! You know, I never, I never understood what the lodge I was supposed to be, animal-wise. The lodge wakes up every day and chooses violence. I know, right? Okay. Stop moving! Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? He fucking almost yelled, yelled me. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. No. Hurry. Come on, Pelagia. Come on. Come on, Pelagia. That's right, you little fuck. The little fuck. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Uh, I can't believe I missed that jump with like literally like two or something hit. Like two hits. I'm two hits away and I missed it. Anyway. Here we go again. Hi. <laughs> See, this is what I why I keep sa saying that Pelagia isn't complicated. Pelagia is just I mean Pelagia isn't bad. Pelagia just takes a long time. Come on. Stop shaking you. Come on. Pelagia, behave! Oi, oi, oi. Just let me kill you already. Pyro! Come up here. Pyro! <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Pyro! Come on. Come on. 
Why are you misbehaving so much? There we go. Don't play coy with me. He just wasn't showing. Well, that's Pelagia. Goodbye, Pelagia. You're an incredibly tedious fight. Oh. Anyway, let's get to safety before the noodles arrive. Ah, oh. they arrive. Oh my god. Oh my god, already? Oh my god, I forgot that was the time. Oh my god, it's my favorite one! Oh fuck! Oh, that just filled me with so much serotonin that I haven't felt in years. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Phalanx! Phalanx is the next one! <laughs> oh my god, yes. Yes. I don't even care, I'm going. Right away, immediately. You know where it is? It's right there, in the desert. Let's fucking go! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, this fight is so spectacular! This fight, this fight is like literally. Uh, if you ask anyone who has played Shadow of the Colossus, which is their, their favorite Colossus, the vast majority are going to say Phalanx. <laughs> Can't believe I'm second to Phalanx. I mean, when you see Phalanx, you're going to understand just why it is that I just adore Phalanx so much. I have been looking forward to Phalanx's fight since I started this game. Oh my god. <laughs> as soon as I, I saw the, the giant trail across the sky, etc. thing, I was like, oh fuck, no way. That can't be right. Is it now? 
It always feels so far away, and yet when it comes, when when the time comes for it, it feels like like no time, no time has passed at all. God. This fight, though, it's just so good. Let's go. Oh, now we get to see this this scene, the, like this this route. Welcome to a cave. That's like pretty much all there is about this. Yeah. And now we're in the desert, and I'm so so excited. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Here, if you want to see. That's where we gotta go. As if it wasn't, like, obvious already. Let's go! Alright, phalanx, my beloved. Show yourself. Say hello to number 12, Phalanx. It's just a dragon. Yeah. Alright. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I am so not gonna get it like that. Alright, where are you? I think you understand what the mechanic of this is now. does this to me. Come on. I think I still can. Phalanx! Ah! He's actually very generous with how much time he gives you to get on. Yeah. Also, Phalanx is one of the very few non-aggressive colossi. He never attacks you. He's coming up, isn't he? There we go! He's lasted a long time like this. There. Uh, uh, uh. 
All right, we're on. Come on, you can do it, Wonder. That's all right, yeah. All right. Do your worst. for aggro and I was like bro I'm right here I just watch you eat shit where is phalanx come on I'm pretty sure you can do phalanx in one like cycle I'm pretty sure the speedrun strat it involves you doing that entire thing in one cycle but Thanks. <laughs> there he is. All right, Phalanx, my beloved. It's time to go down again. Thanks. All right. Come on, Agro. God, I love this fight so much. Just a little bit of a bitch to aim when so close. Come on. I'll meet you halfway. How's that? Also, 100% around the 10th Colossus is where uh, most of these fights start to become uh, a lot longer. Because you have to strategize a lot. Like, Phalanx's fight is just a test of endurance, I, I would say. A test of accuracy also. You saw how many times I, I fucking fell on my face. Then there's other fights that are... Uh, more like puzzles than anything else. We have to figure out exactly how to do something. Uh. Uh. Damn it. Come on, let's follow. Let's go. Look at his head. I love him so much. Come on, Phalanx. Play nice. Ugh. Agro, can you stop? Hurry! Come on. Oh, you wanna be like that, huh? Wait. Oh, I didn't think he was going to... Okay. Ah, I got it. Come 
one. I don't want to be here. Oh my god, can you please stop doing that? Oh, I don't want to be here. Oh, I don't want to be here. Oh, I don't want to be here. Oh god, this is too far back. That flap, come on, don't close it. No, oh, geez, oh, God. Yeet. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> There he goes. Hiding again like a bitch. All right, Talings. Yeah. I'm so glad there's a button that's just like focus on the Colossus. There he goes. He's gonna come out of there. I summon you. <laughs> it worked. All right, let's go. Oh my God, look at that. I may need to let him pass a little bit. I'm literally right beneath him. Amazing. This is so fucked up. Oh, the screen is shaking so bad. I'm fine, I'm fine. Alright. Uh. What the hell is that?
Goodbye, Phalanx, my beloved. Goodbye to my favorite Colossus. Oh god, where am I? Okay. I want my horse! Uh, too late. So here's a little fun fact. You know how the last time we were playing this, I kept calling the cat one uh, Celosia? Yeah, that was Zenobia. This is Celosia. So we're gonna go see Celosia soon. Come on. Come on, interact with me. Where my horse? There. Celosia is another one of those colossi that uh, I really like. I think he's one of my favorites as well. But getting there is a bit tricky. I always get lost. Oh. It's over there. I know I know more or less like where where each of these colossi are. Don't worry about that, but um I do like to shine the, the sword whenever I remember so that you can like get a sense of more or less where they are. You know, just for funsies. God, I, I love this pan. Sorry, Quadratus. We're not visiting today. That's so gnarly though. Jeez. But yeah. This next fight, uh, I know you can like like rush it pretty quickly, etc. But I want to do it legit because I think I think doing it legit is one of the most fun things that you can possibly do. It's a very fun fight, and when you see it, you will understand what I meant by saying that uh, a lot of the fights in this in this section of the game after Colossus number 10 they become puzzles more than anything beyond boss fights they become puzzles and I really like that actually because as we saw you can totally breeze through this game but if you take your time I mean you can totally breeze through this game but the last ones are there kind of like to make you be like Oh shit, what do, etc. Anyway, here we are again with Gaius. You can probably do time attack here, but I'm not gonna. So, while we get there, how's everyone doing? What are you all up to, huh? Because this is like a road trip right now. 
We're on a road trip to hell. Get going, come on. Come on, horsey. Come on. Oh, there's a lizard! Ah. Oh, I wanted to step on it. There's another lizard! I stepped on it. <laughs> what is that way again? Oh, yeah. I think no matter which way we take, they should take us there. Yeah, both take us there, but I'm gonna take this lower side. Although there may be like a uh, shrines. What was that sound? I thought I heard something funky. But apparently not. Okay. But yeah, there may be uh, save points. Christ. There may be shrines somewhere around here. And on the upper part as well, but... Where am I? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but look at this. Long terrain. Big. I'm pretty sure there must be, like, lizards somewhere around here. And we haven't found a fruit tree in a while. That's worrying me, actually. I want fruit gummy. Oh, that's there. It is okay. Let's 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 circle yeah. around and see if we find anything. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Now I feel like a fool. Yeet. Speaking of, uh, most fruit trees can be scaled, but not all fruit trees are capable of being scaled. So if I lo miss any, I'm gonna cry. Thank you for your tail. All right. I hate that so much. Up. I do wonder if we'll have the stamina necessary to climb onto the shrine of shrine of worship. I don't think so. Not in this playthrough, at least. I think it takes a few playthroughs, but I think you you can possibly cheese it. Like I know, I know of a few people that have uh, cheesed that. Uh, where are you, Agro? Agro. <laughs> ah. And even if we finish the game, I'm gonna try and go back and get into the Shrine of Worship. But which, fun fact, defeating a Colossus gives you a little bit of like uh, HP and stamina, I think. But it doesn't matter. Like, even if you... Hey, goodbye. <laughs> even if you don't like go for the Colossi themselves, you should still get that HP and stamina from fruit trees, etc. Is that a fruit tree? <laughs> so you can totally get into the shrine yeah. on top of the shrine of worship before you're even done with the first colossus. But if you want the boost, I guess you should probably be doing the colossi. colossi. Anyway, this wasn't a fruit tree. I feel lied to and scammed. 
Alright, no more fucking around, let's go. I am kind of taking my time going around places, just because it's like... I think it's worth it, looking at the, sc the scenery, etc. And also, I am trying to get as many fruit trees and lizards as I can. This is a very comforting game. It's very... It's very quiet. It's very... I don't know, low-key, kind of. Except when you're on the, at the Colossi, of course, but... Something about it is just comforting, you know? We all have those games, those games that we just boot up. Yeah! Play for no reason whatsoever, other than we want to space out. That was Shadow of the Colossus for me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is where the paths converge. Can we go down there, actually? I think we can. Oh, we definitely can. <laughs> Look at that, there's a shrine over there. <laughs> Don't be scared, Wonder. <laughs> Tis but a flesh wound. <laughs> You're fine. You have knees of steel. Look at this. Look at this. I can hear the fucking lizards. Lizards didn't used to make any noise. That's that's still fucking me up. It's throwing it throwing me off. Oh, that's a fruit tree. Excellent. Oh, lizard. Oh, lizard. Aye. Oh. One has to wonder just how aggro is going to get here. Still alive. Damn it. Oh, there you are, Agro. Ah, now begins the game of cat and mouse with this fucking lizard. Alright. Where are you? Oh, you bastard. Come on! Stop! There. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that. And now, fruit. Let's see. Any more? Mm. <laughs> well, well. Well, where did my fruit go? Okay, there it is. <laughs> I ate like a ghost, the ghost fruit. I didn't even see where it was. Any more? Nah. All right. Aro. Yeah, I don't think there's any more fruit trees or anything else of that matter over here. <laughs> but this was good. This was a good discovery. Let's go. 
Uh, where are you going? This isn't the way to go. Come on. Yeah! We're going up there. So path find your way up there. Excellent, thank you. Now we're now we're going up there. Nice. <sighs> this is so nice. I just always like playing Shadow of the Colossus. Getting to the spooky part, huh? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, well, I gotta leave my horse here. Goodbye, Agro. You've been a darling. Oh, even that looks great on the water. Look at that. Look at the shadows. Look at the light. Oh, that's fantastic. No fish in this pond? You know what? This game sucks ass. They, they won't let you fish. Maybe if you could, I would have a different opinion of it. But not anymore. always like I always enjoy doing this going into little patches of light and just shining the sword Ooh. ladies and gentlemen welcome to the forbidden city Is that motion blur again that I spot? Let me see that. No, it doesn't have any anymore. Well, that's weird. God. I'm just enjoying it before the mayhem starts. Look at that. Even the textures on the walls, jeez. <coughs> Oof, alright. This is a very interesting fight. It's one I enjoy greatly, of course. Also, this isn't the way, I just wanted to see this. I enjoy this greatly. But uh yeah it 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 sure is a long fight. <laughs> Hello. There he is. trigger the cutscene without touching the grass. Look at him! Look at him! It's like... Hold on. Hello! How are we doing? I wonder how this looks like at night. Oh, that would be so creepy fighting this at night. All right, say hello to Celosia. Good 
kidding. Good kitty. <laughs> I forgot how much I fear this guy. Okay, stay off the ground. Oh lord, oh lord, okay. It's like we are a moth, and this is a house cat. Hey there! Ugh. Come on, get back! Come on! Do it again! Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. Ah. <laughs> All right, we're doing this the long way. Let's go. The fact that you can just hear him scrambling everywhere is like terrifying. Celosia. I almost na named my cat Celosia. Oh, oh god. Get up there. Ah! Holy shit, okay. Hey Celosia. Hey Celosia. Oh. Aww. Is the little meow meow getting frustrated? Huh? Getting frustrated, little meow meow? Whoa, shit. Oh crap, oh crap! Whoa! Note to self, don't... Don't taunt the creature that can possibly kill me. Oh Jesus, I'm not ready! Mono doesn't revive. Hey, Celosia. Oh. Hey, Celosia. Oh, God. Bad ideas, bad ideas, bad ideas. My god. <laughs> this is what happens when I taunt taunt them. Oh. Uh oh. Is it over here? I forget which one it is. Hey Celosia. Uh. No, this one isn't it, I think. Oh god, this is a bad idea! Oh god. Hey, Celosia! Come on! Come on, you stupid cat! Oh 
Oh god. <laughs> I made it through! <laughs> oh, that was a bad idea. That was a terrible idea. Zelosia, hey, hey Zelosia, hey Zelosia. Oh my God! You're not gonna do anything? Hey Zelosia! Oh dear God, that destroyed it. Hey. <laughs> Is this a cheese strat? No. The cheese strat involves running all the way here without doing all the platforming, so... Come on. Come on. Uh. Ay, ay. Ah. Hey, Zelosia! Hey, Zelosia! <laughs> hey Zelosia! Come on! Okay, this might be a bad idea being here. Run, 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 <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Get off there! Oh my gosh! No, 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 no! <laughs> no! This was a bad idea! Oh no! No, I cannot die here. I refuse to die here. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so bad. Holy shit! <laughs> I need to get somewhere else, but I can't. Come on. All right. Hi. Hey, Celosia. Oh my God, this is terrifying. <laughs> coming oh he coming nope come on oh god hey Zelosia
Come on. Uh. The camera isn't doing any favors. <laughs> oh god. You know what's funny? I've seen people as soon as Celosia dies. I've seen them accidentally get crushed underneath him. Ah! <laughs> oh, no problem. Go get your food. Is this number 15? Are we seriously almost done with this game? Let me just check. Let's see here. How many more are there? Oh my god, there's one... There's two left! Um, we accidentally breezed through the whole goddamn game. Um... Tell you what, I'm gonna start... I'm gonna start going uh, in the lower quadrant so that we can get some, like, fruit and lizard. This is gonna be chill from now on. But, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow we finish the game. Tomorrow we finish the game. Come back here! But yeah, let's go get some fruit. There's a bunch of cool places that we haven't gone to that have the fruit. But yeah, uh, what was that guy's name? Valus? No, Valus is the first one. Um, I always forget this guy's name. But I do know that in the developer files they call him Minotaur number 2, I think. There was another minister supposed to be uh, supposed to happen, but yeah, you know how it is. Also, did you guys know that Shadow of the Colossus was supposed to have 48 colossi? But then, uh, since a bunch of them didn't work, they cut it down to like 24, and then a bunch of those didn't work, so like, they cut it down to um, to 16. Still, though, it's very amusing to me to think that. We could have had a game full of like 24 colossi or 48 even to defeat. Like unbelievable. Can you can you even imagine that? I don't think I don't think Shadow of the Colossus would have been Shadow of the Colossus if we had like 28 or or no, 24 or even 48 colossi to defeat. I think it would have been something completely different by that point. Because like 16, it feels like the perfect number, but 16 feels like the, the perfect number, but uh, 24 and 48 feels more like a regular game. Like at that point, you would have been, you would have had a really, 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 really long game, and they may even have felt a little bit like regular enemies. 
the entire map would have been filled in. So I think I think it was a very wise decision to leave it at. Oh, there's phalanx. Oh, uh. I think it was a very wise decision to leave it at uh, 16. Let's go to this side of the quadrant. To that fruit tree over there. Yeah, we in fact do not have them. So, let's go. <laughs> Is it bad that I am actually kind of excited to just get lizards and fruit? Like, for some reason that is very exciting to me. The most relaxing part of this game. Fucking around instead of finding out. Up. <laughs> Alright. What else? Come on. Where are you? Come on. I just want your tail. You don't have to die if you give me your tail. have to give me your tail. There's no need for you to die. That's one more. And there's a bridge over there. Let's go visit it once we have this, this fruit tree. Ah, what a beautiful sight. It is, actually. Look at all those leaves. You doing okay? I don't think it's natural for trees to be losing that many leaves that fast. Alright, let's see here. There's one. Two. How about you? Thank you. Oh, there's a bridge. Is there anything else on this side? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Agro always get, gets so upset whenever I get the bow out. I guess it's just a, so that she automatically gets out of the way, but it's always very funny to me. She's done this since the, the PS2 version, too. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Let's go check that bridge out. Oh, there's a little section of land over there. <gasps> and a beach! Is that the beach? The one? Whoa, shit. Almost, almost died there. Thank you, my horse. Yeah. Oh, 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 good girl. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can do it. Excellent. Nothing here. But yeah. a fruit tree over there. Immediately zero in on that. There's two of them, I think. Ooh, I'm gonna eat so well. Yep. Not there, okay. Come on. There's gotta be one more. There's no way there's only two of them. <laughs> there you are. 
god, all this fruit in this game is making me hungry. Let's see. Nope, no more. Let's go let's go to the other one. Oh look at that. Already lined up. Ooh, look at them. There's like three there. Alright. Any more? <coughs> we'll go down to the beach, I promise. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that that's the 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 bitch. Beach. Not the beach. The bitch. Every Spanish the Spanish speaker's um, nightmare. The word beach. Because you usually end up making it sound like bitch without even realizing it. It happens to me. I'm not sure if it happens to anyone else. Oh, there is a save point. Alright, where's my lizard? Oh, this is precarious! Thank god you're not there. Been to this side actually, now that I think about it. I may have just like whoa. I may have just forgotten to discover this part. I have actually been like I don't have all the the map memorized or anything like that. I'm not that cool. Oh this one doesn't have messed up my input there. Look at that! It's a beach! Can I get there? From where? I don't think I can drop down there. There's gotta be a- <gasps> There it is! Agro! We're going to the beach! Before- but wait, first I have to heal myself. There, now we can go to the beach. Let's go, let's go. We are exploring the other side, but first I want to go to the beach. I'm very excited about it. Alright, I'll let you pathfind. <laughs> Jeez, that almost didn't seem like we would have there was a path. You're fine! Does this go anywhere? Is there anything cool here? Nah. Look at this. The thing that makes me happy about this be this beach uh, is that uh, there is speculation, nothing has been confirmed yet, etc. That this is the beach from um, from Ico, well, Ico, more like. Well, <gasps> what is that? Come on. He's walking under the water. <laughs> I 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, her fur gets wet, actually. That didn't happen in the PS1 version, I don't think. I mean, the PS1, the PS2, wow. Went a whole generation back. Yeah. Let's go the whole way. Is the thing gonna be here, or is that just on, a, on another game? Mode. Aww. There's like a possibility... I don't remember if you have to play the game on hard, or something else. I thought I saw something in the water. But uh, there is a watermelon on the beach. I think you do have to play the game on hard mode to get the watermelon. But the watermelon is supposed to be a reference to Eco itself. Look at that. You're fine. This place has everything. <laughs> now I want to go there. What? I'll be fine, I'll go there. Come on, let me go there. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Yeah. Oh, Agro's, Agro's like, uh... Agro's feet get, food, uh, get filled with mud. That's a very good detail. That's not something that anyone would like actually look at. Let's go. Excellent. I've actually never gone. Whoa, aggro. Come on, you're pathfinding. What's up with that? But I've actually never gone down to that beach. Aggro. I don't think I've ever found it myself. So that was my first time there. I'll just go there. Is there anything in there? I don't think there's gonna be anything in here. I do know, however, that some of the quadrants have stray little um, lizards. Whoa. That's interesting. That there's, there's lizards that aren't actually tied to a, like, a shrine, for example. Well, that's interesting. And by that I mean the white-tailed lizards. Is there a save point down here? I think there should be. If I remember this place correctly, I'm kind of recalling it. Is there anything over there? Hold on. <laughs> I know that you can perform a very... Very cool trick right here. In this place, specifically. With that hawk. But, uh... I don't think I want to test that theory. Lizards. Just because, uh, failing to do that trick signifies death. <laughs> Especially because of where we are. Alright, aggro. Aggro, you're pathfinding. Aggro, baby girl. Aggro. Aggro, my sweet... My sweet summer child. Aggro, my, my beloved. She's almost sentient, guys. She's very smart. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking there should be a save point somewhere around here. Aha! 
I was right. <laughs> yeah, are those fruit trees? I don't think those are fruit trees, no. How about behind me? Nope. Is that a fruit tree? Oh, hi! Hi, Rar. Uh, yeah, you're a little bit late. Uh, yeah. We just took down like three colossi in one go. <laughs> Fuck! And uh, we're, just, we're, just, we're just chilling right now. I'm like exploring the lower quadrants of the of the map, trying to find lizards and fruit. So you're welcome to just chill. Uh, I mostly stopped because I realized that we are um, literally two colossi away from finishing the game. <laughs> and I did want to uh, like chill out and just find some some of these things. Let's see. Eh. Congrats, yeah. thank you. Uh, I very much miscalculated miscalculated just how how fast I can do this. Which well, it may not be speedrun speedrun strats or anything, but um, it's still pretty fast. <laughs> Agro might be loved. Can't wait to watch the VOD. Oh yeah, the VOD is gonna be fun for you. Especially because we just visited the... Um, what is speculated to be the beach from Eco. So you're gonna like that, I think. Agro, my beloved. Look at that. Look at that. That's that's gorgeous. Sneakily, well, no, I'm not gonna take a green yeah, screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. We still have the other place to find. Yeah. Agro, my beloved. Agro, my dearly detested. <laughs> All right, we're free. Let's go. Yeah, they they did a they did a fantastic job with this remake. A few times though, when I'm playing, I feel like it's a little bit weird because it almost feels like they gave it the Unity treatment. You know what I mean? Those games that people would like make fan remakes of. And everything would be super shiny, everything would be super high definition and very strange looking. I think when it is, when you're not specifically looking, this game looks very beautiful because it still has a little bit of the jank from the PS2 version. But otherwise, good girl. <laughs> otherwise, sometimes I do notice that it looks a little bit too polished. And it's very strange. But I guess... Good girl! But I guess that's just me, because I'm, I'm the one who grew up with the PS2 version, and I know it quite intimately a little bit, how it looks. For example, uh, Wander's face, they babyfied him a little bit. His face is a lot rounder here. I feel it. Oh yeah? It is simply too pretty sometimes, yeah. Yeah, like... When it comes to the Colossi and the environments, I think they did a fantastic job of this is, this is This is everything I could have ever wanted. But the character models specifically Wander, he does feel a little bit like... He does feel a little bit like some... They did the Unity treatment. Which isn't bad, really. I don't mind it as much, but it is kind of distracting. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. This is the most beautiful landscape ever. Dust. We're playing Desert Bus now. Grab 
am I going? All right. Anything over here? I'm literally just scouring the land. Shadow of the Colossus, but you have to do it in one sitting. What, like a, like a speedrun? You're describing a speedrun. No. Shadow of the Colossus, but it lasts like... Oh, that that's rude. That's rude. Shadow of the Colossus, but it lasts like uh, eight hours. That's Desert Bus Shadow of the Colossus. You want to know something bad about me? You want to know something very bad about me? I'm kind of curious. And I want to play Desert Bus. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play Desert Bus. And I want to do it legit. It's one of those things that I can imagine myself playing. But... Only under special cir circumstances. Do it, coward. I will maybe... You know what? What if I take a, a, a vacation day at work? And play Desert Bus. Like, literally just get up, start the stream, play Desert Bus for eight hours. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be very bad. <laughs> You just want to see me suffer, huh? Is that it? <laughs> hey, 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 get away from my fruit. <laughs> yeah, a little. Uh. Yeah, well, you're not the one who would have to be driving a bus through the desert for eight hours straight. But I kind of want to do the, the remake version where... You know why? The, well, not the remake version. It's more like the Surf Boss 2. Because then people can actually join in. They can be your passengers. And I think there is VR support. So that will be very fucking funny. Just imagine that. You could be you could be in my in my desert bus. Where's my horse? Where have you been, you? Oh, you're just drinking water. There. I'm cleaning you. What a good girl. I love this horse. I've only had this horse for like four days. And I love her so much already. If anything happened to her, I would kill everyone in this room. And then myself. What's over there? Yeah. I don't think I've ever explored this little s section of the map, actually. Agro, my beloved. Agro, my beloved. Yeah. Twilight Princess, you get a bottle of water and dump it on Epona to clean her. True love at its finest. Honestly, king shit right there. What is it about video game animals that just makes you want to care for them? <laughs> There's something about them. Like, I, I hate horses. I hate horses in real life. I despise them. I think they're, I think they're creepy. But something about Agro. Agro just makes me want to take care of her. She's like my little meow meow. Oh, look at that. There's a shrine over there. Who turned the bloom on? Jeez. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay. 
there. Look at that. That's one of the southmost uh, shrines there there are. Agra's just going insane over there. You good girl? Let's get up there. Look at that. Look at the, look at the look at how the shrine actually looks. It's like Oh wow. Oh wow. There's just something awesome about looking into a void like that. A void of ocean. Look at that. God. Agro, catch me! Catch me! Agro, you had one job! <laughs> Ow, there's something in my eye. There. Now, how do I get out of here? Like that. Thank you. There's another shrine over there. We haven't gotten it, actually. Let's go. Is there anything? No, that's not something. She hit herself. Damn. Look at this entire expanse of land. Oh! Fruit tree! Let's get like uh, over there where that other um, shrine was and then I will probably stop Just because I like I like chilling as much as y'all But I also wanna I'm, I'm like craving something sweet now something delicious Water. Up. This is like that, that time when we were grinding at the museum. Look at our HP bar. That's nasty. There's gonna be more. Calm down. Are you gonna are you, are you gonna stop being so dramatic now? Yeah. Are you done being dr <laughs> Missed a few. <laughs> I don't know if they give you an achievement for eating all the fruit and uh, hunting all the lizards anymore. <laughs> there was an achievement for that in the PS4 PS3 version actually. One for uh, all the lizards and one for all the fruit. But I think they removed them. And there's only one for like uh, eating your first lizard and your first fruit. Which I think is kind of dumb. Like, why would you remove that? You should just leave it there. If someone is gonna go through the trouble of actually getting 100%ing everything that you've put in your map, you should reward them. Oh. Having a full HP bar and a full uh, stamina wheel is like good enough for me. But at the same time I'm like, come on. I want something. Oh, this was important. Going up there. Hi. 
Oh, you can totally get up there. Look at that. All right. <laughs> oh. Didn't even know what hit it. <laughs> Damn. That's... That felt mean, actually. That felt really mean. That poor lizard was just vibing. He was like, just just vibing around like, la 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 la, then I come and kill it and eat its tail. Well, should have thought twice before being born with a bright tail that I can eat to get more stamina. His little walk. It was like tra la 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 la. <laughs> it was adorable. That's why I feel so bad. Got the camera. I am fighting the camera just a little bit. Also, don't worry about that. Who said Wonder was a good person? Yeah, that's true. Wonder stole stole a sword, broke into a forbidden land, started just killing everything that he saw, eating lizards, eating the fruit that grows here. He's not a good person. Oh, stream buffered, okay. No worries about that. Come on. Cool. Look at that, it's so beautiful having so many shrines. Let's do that lower quadrant at G7 underneath uh, Kuromori. And then we'll call it a day. Every time Wander screams, Agro's name, I have to imagine that she's like, what do you want? Like, she's right there. She's like, what do you want? Look at that, there's a, there's a fruit tree over there and a save point. Easy. Oh yeah, that's Stone Edge. There it is. Fun fact. This little structure right here, it coincides with some of the production pictures from Shadow of the Colossus. Back when there were like 24 colossi or something. Shit. Asshole. Asshole. Come here. There, jeez, you interrupted me. <laughs> but uh, it coincides, this structure here, coincides with one of the production colossi that had to be cut. You good, Wonder? You good? Uh, am I stuck? Oh god, am I stuck here? Uh... Um, I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> oh, oh, there, no, no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Can I stop getting interrupted, please? <laughs> but okay, this little structure here, this, um, this stone edge. Coincides with one of the production pictures of the cut colossi from when there were like 24 colossi uh, The name of that 
wonder. <laughs> the name of that Colossus is a Sirius, and it was supposed to be, a, I think, a, I think a dragon. I don't recall exactly, but you were supposed to fight it there. What is this? Yeah, wonder, wonder's fine. <laughs> he just had a little bit of the uh, of the fucky walkies. Look at this. There's so much moss here. Look at that. Oh, wonder is so dirty. Like, oh. let me just remove the there. Look at him. Wonder is real dirty now. Take a bath, nasty. I'll go. Do the thing again. <laughs> that amuses me more than it should. Yeah. Yeah. Agro, honey. Agro. Yeah. Be a darling. Oh wow, look at that. It sounds like there's lizards here. Because there are, but they're not the cute ones. They're not the cool ones, more like. I, I, I. It's fine, I can get there without aggro. Maybe I can't. Come here. Jeez, I keep hearing, I keep hearing lizards. Uh. You good? What is that? Fuck off! You good, aggro? <laughs> you good, aggro? Yeah! Speaking of cut colossi, there was one that was supposed to be a yeah. spider, you know? Yeah! <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, non shiny lizards are very common, apparently. But yeah, there was supposed to be a. Colossi that was Colossus that was a spider Development notes say that you were supposed to uh, Make it go off balance so that you could whoa, whoa. Find another way here aggro you were supposed to make it go on balance and make it drop so that you could reach the higher part like it was like a daddy long legs, so And you were supposed to fight it on a lake. So I guess that you were supposed to make the spider fall into the lake. Hi, aggro. Oh, that's rude. Oh. This is interesting. Ah! Okay, that's that that has very wonky collision. I don't want to get there. Oh, I love seeing things. Yeah, it is pretty neat. Git. Let's see here. see any more here so I'm gonna go into another angle and then maybe we'll see if there's any more this thing this this plane here feels like there could there should be a lizard water spiders are a thing too oh wow are they I know, I know that spiders are like nice, they do good things for us, etc. And most of them aren't really aggressive. 
But still, the idea of spiders going into the water, it, it, it creeps me out, not gonna lie. <laughs> I've lost wherever it is that the other one was. Oh, there it is. <coughs> Look at my HP bar. Look at it and weep. Agro's drinking water. Oh my god, look at that. We're eating good today, boys. I don't think they swim, they chill in the water mostly. The surface mostly. Oh. Still though, can you imagine taking a dip and just uh, surfacing, seeing a spider just chilling there being like, hey. Like spider, uh, uh, Miles Morales voice, hey. Look at them. Those are the sky's nipples. <laughs> There's nothing ominous about the sky's nipples. Oh, there you are. Agro, you good? Sometimes the camera goes so wonky, and that's something that I've seen happen since the PS2 version, so I'm happy. But also, please. I don't think that's true. <laughs> the, the sky sniffles thing? There are 14 of them. Yeah, there's 14 lights on the sky. right now. Oh God, look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. Gently. I love doing these, like... Pan out, etc. Where are you going? Oh, she's leaving. And there we have it. I think that's about as many shrines as we can get without going it into the last two colossi but i think i'm going to stop right there in that case i'm going to just end the stream and tomorrow we can finish the game because we are there's only two left so not a whole lot <laughs> but yeah thank you for coming with me uh we killed like three or four colossi, I don't remember how many anymore, and we went on a journey to the lower quadrants of the map. Tomorrow we're gonna finish the game. We're doing um, whatever the next one is and Malus. So that should be interesting and fun and I think we should be able to finish the map with uh, all the shrines possible after that. So look forward to that. But yes, yeah, okay. Uh, thank you all for coming. Have a lovely night. Get yourselves a snack and stuff. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. See ya.